I think there's something about the symbolism that makes this book perpetually relevant. If you don't happen to be living in the last days, the book of Revelation still speaks to your time uh, because it gives you this choice between good and evil and, and we need to choose well. To see this opportunity that God gives us to return to the tree, to find the leaf, to, to drink from the water, to be able to have this celestial city, uh, the gates being open wide in chapter 21, if I can, just when I was in Israel as a student studying abroad way back in college, we had a concert at the very end of our semester. And we invited all of the friends that we'd made from the Palestinians and the Israelis and just to be in the Jerusalem center with an audience of Muslims and Jews sitting right next to each other and Israelis and Palestinians and, and then a bunch of Latter-day Saint Christians up on stage singing. And one of the songs that we sang was the Holy City. And when it says that and all who would might enter, and no one was denied. And when you see that in Revelation 21 of the gates, this is verse 25, the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. Uh, so all we have is day, and the gates are always open. No wonder this book ends with such a crescendo to help us understand that the Lord wants us to come home. <laughs>